is Aram Jabari, manager of PR at Atlas, and I'm here with Metaphysics from the Dream Cancel community, and we're going to talk about the King of Fighters. So, assuming I just got unearthed from beneath a giant boulder, and I've never <laughs> followed a fighting game before, well, tell me, what is the King of Fighters series all about? Well, at its simplest form, it's really just a three-on-three -three fighting game. It's 2D. It's made by SNK Claymore. The original version of the series was in 94. It was originally developed and released for the arcade. And the newest and latest version of the game will have... There's going to be a lot of changes. A lot of improvements, an overhaul in the balance of the game. New characters you guys haven't seen before in the arcade. Basically, a very huge improvement from what you guys may or may have not seen before. There's actually a lot of differences. I don't know if you guys remember Keo, but he had a run grab, man grab. Well, now it's made completely punishable. So you basically you're beating each other up, right? What's the objective yeah. of the King of Fighters? Well, basically it all comes down to you guys got a gauge. There's a gauge on each side, represented in first player and second player. The whole point of you is to deplete the other person's green bar to zero. Once you get it to zero, you win. There's also time, so if you know, whatever the time time's out on, whoever has the most life, they're the ones that end up winning. So if you played a fighting game, you know what the king of fighters Yeah, basically. Like. Knock the dude out, you know what I mean? Alright, and, and the basic controls, I played SNK games uh -huh. growing up in the arcades. Just four buttons, right? Yeah, just four buttons. Um, it has a light punch, light kick, heavy punch, and a heavy kick. Tell me a little bit more about the moves in the King of Fighters 13. In any fighting game, it really comes down to fireballs, uppercuts, and command moves. This game is actually pretty flashy, you know, it looks really nice on screen, and there's other things like Neo Maxes, which are real big supers and, you know, real flashy animations and whatnot. Uh, with over 30 fighters to choose from, it's kind of hard to pick. So, tell me a little bit more about the process of figuring out who you want to fight with if you're a beginner in the series. Uh, one thing you can do is you can set yourself to play against the computer one versus one, and you can test out all the characters, see what fits you, what character you like. If you want a really flashy character, go for the flashy one, you know, you want to keep it simple. There's a practice mode where you practice all your combos, you get to see strategies, set things up. There's a lot of uh, various situations that you can see to, to how to get the upper hand, basically. Right. All that science aside, there seems to be the school of thought where you just pick based on looks. You ever done that? Well, yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, I think it's every, in everybody's nature to try to pick a character that they gravitate towards. Them. Right, and if you were going to choose based on looks, you would choose... Well, if I'm going to be staring at the screen for long periods of time, I want to be staring at mine. All right, so what about choosing by moveset? Oh, uh, well, when it comes to movesets, there's various archetypes for characters. There's uh, charge type characters, throw types, uh, fireballs, and then, you know, various uh, combinations of all those. For me, if I was picking a charge character, I'd pick Leona. Really fast, she, she controls a lot of space, she has a lot of options. Also, there's throw types. Daimon is a really good character, controls a lot of good space as well, and uh, really good with the mix-up. And then you have maybe the more accessible characters, more like the you know, yeah. other fighting yeah. games in the genre. They're going to be more comfortable with the fireball type characters. Yeah, exactly. There, there's those characters where you push buttons and it looks cool. There's like Kios and like... Uh, Kay, Terry, you know, the popular people uh, that have been around the series for a really long time. Uh, who, would, who are your recommendations for characters for beginners? I recommend Keo. A lot of people use them, a lot of people be able to understand them pretty quickly. Another character I uh, would pick uh, would be Terry. Really easy to use, combos, simple gameplay, uh, pretty linear. You won't have a hard time picking him up. And. Uh, Mine, just for a simple fact, she's a fan favorite, you know, everybody's got to pick her up, You right? just want to see her online. <laughs> Dude, I, I don't mind seeing her all day, if you ask me, all right? <laughs> all right, well, I feigned a little bit of ignorance for this video, but really the point was to teach people about uh, the King of Fighters, the upcoming King of Fighters 13, and um, kind of get people a little acquainted with the ropes of the series and how to play when it comes out. And by the way, it comes out November 22nd. Pre-order and get your four CD soundtrack compilation, The King of Soundtracks, from participating retailers. Thank you very much, Metaphysics. Appreciate You're it. You're very welcome.